The children yearn for the mines. Hello, everyone. We're heading into the mines tonight. In case that wasn't clear from that otherwise deranged intro. Maybe a weird way to introduce just like a random, unrelated kind of non sequitur, huh? Um, but yeah, we're playing more Banishers of Ghost of New Eden tonight. Um, we're back to Mount Pleasant. Which decidedly isn't. But um, that's uh, we'll we'll find out more about that once we once we get into it. Sorry, I've got a weird, I've got like one eyebrow hair that's decided to go completely against the grain, which is always just fun on its own. So we'll just let me deal with some brief maintenance. Bodies are bullshit, as I've often uh, been heard to say, and I stand by it. Anyhow, hi. Welcome to Monday. Welcome to a new week, uh, but the same game. Um, Tremor. We last time was a little bit of a, a kind of a backtracking and cleanup stream, I guess you could say. We we found the, um, the specter isn't the right word. The Bone Walker possessed by the ghost of Fear God Waterbury, and learned how to unlock the cursed chests that are scattered about New Eden area. Uh we did. Oh yeah, we found Jacob, who has made his way to the, the hunting camp, and um, had become convinced that he was a werewolf. So we got him some wolfsbane, which was not actually wolfsbane, it was just a completely harmless herb, uh, or flower, I guess. Anyway, we got him a harmless thing, and convinced him that it would cure him of his mystical illness, uh, so that he is safe to live amongst others, and also res rescued him from some wolves in the process. Um, so he is amongst friends and good people, and is hopefully no longer convinced that he is not a good people. Um, so that makes me happy. Jacob is, is doing better. Um, I think we solved another haunting case in the middle there, maybe? I'm pulling some vague memory. Oh yeah, we chatted with Kate, who, um, actually seems to be doing okay. Honestly, all things considered, considering the loss of the sister thing. She's pissed at us, which is valid and understandable. I think we didn't get any more details about Deborah, which was a little disappointing. Um, there is another, like, patrol that's lost in the woods now that she expected the arrival of. If we can go and find them and rescue them, then maybe we can get some more details? So, right! Thank you, Bad Road. We did, we found Evelyn. That's the haunting case I forget about. We found out about Evelyn and Joffrey. Um, and Joffrey is detestable, but I can't defend what Evelyn did, which was, uh, 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 poisoning him for not telling her sister, his bride-to-be, uh, about his syphilis, I think it was, um, that they referred to as the pox, uh, and I think she might have... Either she told the sister, or she just decided not to just go to her sister directly with the information. Anyway, her sister's pissed at her, so either she has told her, or her sister has figured it out uh, posthumously, po post Joffrey's death. Um, but she took the decision out of her, her sister's hands, and also she killed a patient in her care. Um, lots of reasons. The point is, we chose the blame option, and, and took the soul essence and gave it to Antea. Uh, because that at minimum, Joffrey just being kind of gross was not really reason enough to, to, to go the other way on that. For It was not reason enough to justify what Evelyn did. There are, like, contemporary reasons why the only thing, the only option left to someone in Evelyn's position would have been poisoning. This was not one of those. Uh, so this was just, this was uh, just a, a bad judgment call. So, yeah. Didn't collect the part where he gave his wife the pox. I don't know that he actually did. I think he was in danger of doing so had they proceeded with the wedding. Um, and Joffrey, at least, was charging Evelyn with, well, just cure me and everything will be fine. Um, and Evelyn made the decision not to just, I guess, go to her sister with the news, or maybe did, and her sister just didn't care, which at that point, her sister made her choice. Um... But regardless, Evelyn took the decision out of both of their hands in killing Joffrey, and her sister's pissed about it because we found that letter. Um, so whether her sister knows about it or not, Evelyn either should have given her the full details and made it her choice, or uh, did go to did go to her sister with the information and then should have respected her wishes. 
regardless, Evie made the wrong call. Uh, and and I think that, yeah, that's, uh, that's, I'm, this is me maybe justifying my decision after the fact, but looking at this one on a second playthrough, it's like, no, I, I, my knee-jerk reaction my first time through was just, wow, Joffrey's really skeevy, which is true, but that doesn't make what Evelyn did justified. Um, might have been unethical to tell her sister, it might have been unethical to tell her sister, but would have been less unethical to murdering her patient. Right. Like, the, the whole, HIPAA doesn't exist in this time period. So, like, telling her sister, particularly because it's also family and because it's, he was essentially endangering her and she had already counseled him to tell her and he refused. So, like, she already did the, 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 the ethical thing of telling him to tell her and he flatly said no. So, like, at that point... I think there is an ethical argument for telling the system, um, because at that you know he is actually pox in this time period is is more than just an inconvenience. It's actually like a life shortening problem. Uh, so it's like yeah, that's that's that would have been the logical next step. Poisoning him with mercury salts that you jumped to the wrong you you took the wrong road. Um, but yeah, anyway, the point is. That uh, that was the that was kind of the, the mainstay. We did that. We we uh, unlocked the ritual of unbounding for uh, how to unlock uh, magical chests, and we uh, tried to find Kate's lost group, um, and uh, they we found one member of the party that they had to bury. But there is still we found a letter that they had had pressed on without them. So some contingent of the group is now like down by the coast. And I think we don't have access to that part of the map until later. So that's a quest we'll have to come back to in the future. So for now, we're, we're back on to the, the main quest. We're back to Mount Pleasant. We were away from the coast and into the snowy areas uh, where we left off before and uh, and cracking on with chapter one of our that's a that's a weird in joke for anybody if you haven't seen dave gorman's googleback adventure strongly recommend it that's a weird reference otherwise um we're, we're getting back to the the main trunk of things um yeah i think that's everything on that better it's good to see you i hope you're doing well it was very fun watching your uh randomizer run yesterday uh i just i never get tired of final fantasy one hey Al. um even in its even in its uh, very like warped forms <laughs> with the randomizer and like borrowing other sprites and distorted colors and barely recognizable spell list um but i just i just i was thinking about this actually the other day because I, I was having a good chat with uh, another friend of mine um who i play final fantasy 14 with and final fantasy 14 is just drenched in references to every final fantasy um including ones that came out after it uh and we regularly find ourselves kind of talking back through and and doing the thing that I, I personally think is is sort of a trap, but it's still a fun exercise to get into, which is sort of ranking the the different entries in the series, um, which is never a serious discussion. It's just kind of a fun, like, is a hot dog a sandwich sort of discussion to have. Um, and so a lot of times we'll, we'll come back to, like, you know, the usually the same two or three entries will always sort of make podium, as I like to joke about it, but like the bronze, silver, and gold medal. doesn't really matter which one is one, two, and three. It's just those are always floating to the top, and it's usually like Final Fantasy IX and Final Fantasy VI are, are typically up there. Now that I've actually played through the original, I gotta say Final Fantasy VII is, is pretty regularly in my top three. I, I honestly, I'm, I'm mad that because of the fans that I knew in the late 90s who... We're just way too into Sephiroth. I passed on that game for a really long time. Um, but I also know that, and and he feels similarly about different games in the series, but for the same reasons, there are games that both he and I really cherish that we both know are not good games. Like, I have an affinity for Final Fantasy VIII that I cannot defend objectively. <laughs> um, and I think the same is true with Final Fantasy I. I think that it's a very important title. But if someone was like, hey, what's a good Final Fantasy game? I wouldn't recommend that they start there. <laughs> Even with the Pixel Remasters, I wouldn't say, hey, go pick up the first one. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, that doesn't stop me from having an affinity for it. And I think that that's, a, that's an important, like, it's good to separate those things about. You can enjoy stuff and still look at it and go, that doesn't mean that I would recommend this thing to somebody else. But it's still okay for me to to, to, to love it and, and, and look at it fondly. Uh,
that has nothing to do with Banisher's Ghost in New Eden. It's just that you uh, playing through a Final Fantasy One randomizer had me looking at that the other night and going, yeah, we were just talking about this this game that is maybe not super good, but I love it a lot. Uh, and sometimes that's okay. With no segue at all, let's <laughs> let's transition into content warnings. <laughs> You ever shift paradigms without a clutch? Uh, there we go. So, getting into this one. It helps that I love a lot of the same garbage you love so we can talk about it. That's true. I imagine that's why we've stayed friends for so long. One of the reasons. One of the reasons. Um, but it's it's certainly on the list. Uh, content warnings for tonight's stream. Uh, Banisher's Ghost of New Eden is a game that deals with death and deals with grief and deals with, with uh, uh, dying and having been dead and deals with grief. Um, from several different angles in, in pretty much all of its aspects. There's no getting away from it for very long, so I wanted to forewarn on that front. Um, there are also instances, as we saw a little bit of last time, um, of sexism, of racism, uh, of domestic violence. Uh, pardon me. Well, yeah, I get yeah, that also too, but domestic abuse uh, will occasionally pop up in some of these side quests or side uh, haunting cases. Um, any of the particularly egregious examples, I should be able to call out before we get to them, but I just wanted to forewarn for the, some of the little kind of micro instances that I may not uh, remember or call out here specifically. Um, body horror, there are zombies, both animal and human shaped, uh, that regularly get up and shamble about in uncanny ways. Um, there are a couple of, of other instances of body horror, some of possession. There is one fairly big one that we might get to towards the end of tonight. I'll be able to forewarn if we get there. Um, and, uh, those are the big ones. Violence against animals, in addition to the zombie wolves, there are just regular wolves that we have to fight uh, fairly regularly. Alcoholism, there's one big quest that centers around it, but there are occasional just small instances of characters who are shown to be drunk or otherwise in the throes of, of not being able to get away from drinking. Uh, for more detailed warnings, visit the doesthedogdie.com entry for Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden. Uh, I've seen there have been more people uh, going in there and, and uh, padding that out, and I've actually caught a few things that I had missed on the first pass, which is nice. Uh, and a lot of those entries have also been spoiler tagged so that you can, can browse through and um, avoid the things that may be major spoilers for later on if you're worried more about that. Uh, but if there are specific content warnings that you're worried about, that list should uh, have a, a pretty comprehensive collection. All right, I think that's all the things. Let's get back to snowy Mount Pleasant, which is an ironically kind of unpleasant area, but um, sort of a sort of a Greenland Iceland situation, I guess, when you think about it. I don't know if that actually holds up as a comparison. It's unpleasant, is the thing. And here we are. All right, so, Pennington, what have I got, what have I done, what have I, what did I put on them, oh right, I highlighted this thing, eh. there. let's get out of there, that was a thing I tried to get to off stream, turns out I can't get to it yet, so, note regarding archives, re-archives, Whichever records, reports, and other documents were transported from New Eden are now locked upstairs in the armory for access. See me. Okay. Good to know. Captain Pennington. No time. No way out. No hope. No way in. No time. No time at all. Bud? Hi, Bob. Your timing is perfect. Captain Pennington, sir. Mr. McGrath, you live. There's work to be done. Work? You had work. A mission. To bring one last glimmer of hope. To gladden our hearts before the pit takes us all. You secretive bastards haven't helped. <laughs> the job is done. Sorry. Ante no with the boots is just little enough time. All that remains is the pit. Mm-hmm. Oh. Welcome to the last stand, McGrath. Welcome to the end. 
I wouldn't surrender just yet, Captain. I found Helen Priest. We brought supplies. A waste of effort on both accounts. Hardly. We saved a life. Resupplied, you may save more. For the sake of what? For the sake of days? A week, perhaps? You've saved no one. You've prolonged the terror. The dead will come. Our throats will feel their bony fingers soon enough. The end is inevitable. Okay. You are not doing well, huh? It is if you will not act. You're the officer. Take command. Surely you can't intend to do nothing. You sound like Priest. She has changed. Her return to Fort Jericho has made her impulsive, irrational, quarrelsome. I believe she did not fully grieve her husband's loss. Returning to the scene has, it seems, reopened the wound. It festers. She'll join the lieutenant soon enough. When our defences crumble at the last, the pit shall take us all. So we learned two streams ago when we rescued Helen Priest that her husband Sebastian died seven years ago in the mines when there was like an outbreak of pestilence or plague of some kind. And Pennington ordered him to stay behind and like quarantine people in the mine. But now Sebastian's ghost is back. I don't know what all that means yet. But fair to say your tactical retreat from New Eden Town has not served you. The town was doomed to fall to the curse. We disagreed on everything. There was nothing left to do but leave. We did not know there'd be no escape. No Smith gathered the board and the governor let the affair flock to him. We never agreed on anything in the first place. I crossed paths with the New Smith party. Mm. Thick skin did not make it. Shame. Make it. She had a proper head on her shoulders. Without her, the band will suffer. So, when we arrived, Charles had sent us a letter summoning us to, to New Eden Town. We met. He was one of four of the selectmen. The other three were. Thickskin Newsmith, Captain Pennington, and Governor Haskell. And apparently, the moment that our, like, uh, the, the moment that everything went wrong and both banishers seemingly died in the meeting house, the remaining three selectmen scattered. Uh, Thickskin went and formed the Hunter's Camp. Pennington came here to the fort at uh, uh, Fort Jericho and with the soldiers, I guess. And Haskell has hacked off somewhere else with uh, what Pennington considers to be the, the fearful folk. So the, the town just split into three factions behind the, the three people who couldn't be arsed enough to lead while they were all together. Absolutely incredible. How do things stand, Captain, as you see them? Uh, little has changed. The dead flood from the mines. We shoot them down and gain respite. Soon, the onslaught begins anew. The clock of our extinction ticks on towards the hour. We may no more defeat the dead than we may vanquish the ocean waves. Of course has collapsed. He's magnetic. <laughs> Folk have little enough hope, and you're leading them further into the darkness. I've heard the whispers, the murmurs, the plotting from the shadows. We hold till the last. We resist till retribution rises from the pit and drags us all to hell. Well, that's something worth waiting for. <laughs> I fail to see the appeal of this slow agony. How unfortunate. Because thanks to you and the time you bought us, the agony will be all the slower. Okay, well, you're a bundle of joy. Uh, we're gonna go fix things. You, you... You just simmer in your pot, you old frog. 
Permission to take my leave, Captain. And if I refuse it? Are you trying to recruit me, Captain? Do you really think I'd take the King's shilling? <laughs> if I were to offer enough shillings, I'm sure of it. I need no new lieutenants. But if you wish, you may stay. This key unlocks the unused watchtower. You'll bill it while you're here. Hooray! New camp! I would argue Thickskin did lead. She was just an awful person. That's fair. That's actually a fair point. She was authoritarian about it, but that's still leadership. Beaten by the world. On the other, his rival, haunted and mutinous. In a fort besieged by vengeful specters. I know the shit. There's something else. Something darker. I appreciate that the background music here is just like one oppressive cello going ham. Look, Al. It's a perfectly safe campfire on a wooden floor. Your favorite. Ah, uh, let's see. I picked up a whole bunch of gear while I was out and about. Uh, none of it was super interesting. The... Banishing an enemy restores 20% health, but banish point gains are reduced. Nah. Perfect switch. I never remember to do those. Alright, yeah, we'll just hang on to this. And away! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's actually, now that you've mentioned it, I I can't help but notice that it's it's almost all of them. There are obviously campfires like out and about in the world, but it's very clear that they essentially had like. And to some degree, this makes sense from a game designer perspective. They had like a campfire asset and they because it's also like the fast travel point and where you go to level up and, and things like that. There, there was a degree of sense made in like make them all look the same. But then, if some of them are in town and some of them are out in the wilderness, making them all campfires leads to situations like this. It's like, but what if some of them were in hearths? You know, or in, in chimneys? <laughs> no, they're just out on the floor. It's very funny. Oh, we have to rest. Okay. We must sleep to advance the plot. Still more fun than the cello line in Pachelbel's cannon. I mean, fair. And we rest. Yes. So never tried that once. Burned down our whole Minecraft village. It's whole Minecraft village, yes. Uh. Banishes. Hello? May I okay. have a word? Helen, something wrong? Apologies for disturbing your rest. I'm afraid it can't wait. What did you think of the captain? Uh, ooh, um, yeah, well. I saw an officer alone. A proud man turned to stone, perhaps, by years of war. I saw a broken man. I did not see the tyrant you described. Inaction is tyranny. He will not act, but nor will he get the hell out of the way. I do not disagree, but the captain needs help. I too was a soldier, broken and haunted. With Anthea's help, I recovered. Pennington may need the same. Leave Pennington to me. The good folk of the fort need your help. You are banishers. The dead, you'll have noticed, hammer at the gates. I would like you to go into the mines and find out what enrages them so. I would like you to do what the captain will not. And while we deal with the hordes of angry spectres, what shall you be doing? When the mines are purged, I'll oust Pennington. I mean, I like this plan. Is it your belief that Pennington's quarantine lies at the heart of the problem here? That this is why the dead rage so? What else? He walled them in. Miners, 
nurses, soldiers, the healthy orphans. He buried them all, and then he lied about it. I'll brook his callous cowardice no more. Okay, so... And the game up to this point has taught us that we are surrounded by unreliable narrators, so that might not be true. But if it is... How goes it with Sebastian? I'm not sure. I had never let go of my grief. I was bereft. Empty. His absence gave me substance. I clung to it. Useless, really. My husband died in the dark with nothing but my handkerchief to soothe his last moments. And now, he's back. If each worthwhile thing in life is to be lived, and then when it is gone, to be grieved, then what now? I have to believe our love is enough. Not sure what... what this is gonna lead to, other than saying, like, you can't stay married to a ghost forever, which goes against the thing that we're trying to do. So, we're gonna go with this. Love is all. Grief can hang. Hee <laughs> And yet, I cannot hold him. I cannot feel his warmth. He is there, but he is not there. That hurts. All things are fleeting. Gaze upon the ghost you love, and you can't deny it. Bitter though the thought may be. Yes, tis a blessing and a curse. Yet against all reason, we persist. Let us make the most of time remaining. See, she seems... She seems okay to me. I'm, maybe I'm missing something. Do ghosts ever lie? Yes. Uh, the ghosts, honestly... They seem as human as the humans we meet, and just as flawed. Uh, they're 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 just they're just people in a slightly different state. <laughs> so, where do we go? There is a second tunnel into the mines. The entryway was walled shut during the quarantine. Getting there will not be easy, but the barricade should fall without too much difficulty. After that, who knows? Underground again. Wonderful. If it soothes you, I too am taking a significant risk. The captain has a penchant for locking people up and leaving them to rot. Some years ago in New Eden Town, the captain locked up an innocent woman. A fate I wish to avoid. Uh, um, uh, who, who? Can you give me, can you give me a name? We should go. Was it seven years ago? When you're ready, you'll investigate the mines. Take the hoist to the waterfall, near the outpost you first found me. From there, it is not far to the tunnel. Keep your wits and all your luck about you. Hang on, can we go talk to Pennington? She seems too reasonable, to be honest. Yeah, there is a little bit of a, like... Jailed. It's barbaric. An officer must be just, or else it all unravels. Helen is right. The truth lies down there, somewhere. Yes, yeah, that's... No coincidence. This all connects back to the curse. Yeah, I think we'll suss it out by going down there and, and finding stuff. Oh, we can't even talk to you, huh, bud? That's a shame. I was hoping to get some answers. Okay, fine, fine. Answers in the mines. Answers in the mines. <laughs> Thank you, Pop. That'll be a fun one to try and suss out later. Ah, <sighs> all right. Well, I said we were going to the mines, and uh, yep, to the mines we go. I mean, as wolf pelts go, it's pretty, but I've more than enough of them. Folk in Boston are not short of wolf pelt. What do I do with this? You're a merchant. Sell it. I'd sell sunshine to the Spanish, but that is not the problem. With more than enough wolf. Bring me a bear, and we'll talk. A bear? I could get four... I'm right here. No, no. Twenty pieces of eight for a bear pelt, if it were in good condition. I'll pay you half that. Half of forty is twenty. I'm the one risking my life out there. I'll take the twenty. 
It's a fabulous plan, and I'm so pleased you thought of it. <laughs> Indeed, I see only one problem. There is no bear. Not out here, they're all gone. Gone to Boston, perhaps, to sell their pelts. Well then, when they return, they shall be naked and rich, and I shall sell them wolf. <laughs> uh, sorry, you mentioned there are naked bears somewhere nearby? Good day, sir. Nathaniel Sather, at your service. What can I do for you? That uh, Mr. Sather remains to be seen. Red McCraith, by the way, the banisher. Uh, yeah, no, I just I'm wanted to listen in on your business Thank proposition. And I for yours. Oop. <laughs> hi, excuse me. Hi, you're the one I was actually more interested in. Hi, excuse me. Hi, hi. Good day to you, uh, Miss. Miss. I'm the hunter Flora Abbott, and I never miss. <laughs> you? It is rare that I. What a line! Been known to miss. Miss, Red I McGrath, never miss. Banisher. I heard about you when you first arrived. Is your friend not with you? She died. She's with me in spirit. Sad to hear it. I have nothing cleverer than that to say. Oh. If you need anything. Well, oh, I like you. I probably can't help. I'll take my leave of you, Flo. Like, we gotta go to the mine, but I wanna come back and chat with you later. That's Nathaniel. There's a store. There is a store. Hello. Banisher. Bathsheba! You were the uh, you were the one who had the like the teeth dream way back in the first town. Hi. Shall we trade? I rather think we should, sir. What interests you? Uh what ooh. Hello. Uh Okay, I do need the iron. Thank you. Uh what we got here? Spirit pick. Well, we're going into a mine. Damage up by red nanta is increased by twenty percent. The lower the spirit gate. Okay. All right. We've got a version of this that just increases red's damage. Increasing, increasing Antea's damage when she's low on spirit gauge, which means she's about to switch out, isn't super helpful. I think I need the rifle stock. Oh, that doesn't. We don't ever want that. Okay. This is strength based therapy. No, I don't think that's worth it. It's not worth 800. Thanks, though. Okay, bye. I must take my leave. And may God go with you. There's no God in the mines. Everyone knows that. No, sir. Anyway. Andrew White. Rebecca had a plan for herself and Ferdinando. Look for a store. All right, there's, uh, there's my body that we never went. And well, we'll deal with that later. First of the mines. I have one agenda item tonight, and it's mines. Oop, oop, this way. We have to go to the gondola. No, gondola. Gondola. Flowers. Pretty flowers. Ready for another ride? Gondola. There we go. Perfect. A lovely view. Stances aside, this is quite romantic. Swarming hordes of spectres aren't to your liking. They are if I'm with you. <laughs> Dork. Fan of this breeze, mind. Not as romantic as you thought, eh? Maybe now's the time to ask you to marry me. Try it, and I'll cut the rope. I like them a lot, honestly. I think I mentioned way back at the start that most of my, most of my reason, ultimately. Drawn on the map. Ooh, treasure. 
most of my reason ultimately for streaming this game was that I found the characters just that charming. And a lot of it is just their rapport. Okay, so we're near treasure. Treasure's by. It's usually just a little rock with an X on it. It's not here. Whoop! Yeah. Is it over here? No. If the map is correct, the treasure must be hidden nearby. Where? Okay, well, first, we have to deal with Doug. Oh, really? I thought for sure that hit. And I was wrong. Good night. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Come on. Damn. It's fine. We'll we'll zero in on it. On the map. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. There it is. See, a rock on an X. Always tell what treasure is, because it's a rock on an X. Ooh! I didn't know those came in treasure chests. Neat! It's in here. It's a nice painting. Some money. See? That's... You could put a fire right there. You could have a campfire, and it'd be perfect. But no... Just Hello? New coat. Visible enemy. No, that's what that's not what I want. Well, I actually want to look at this too. Defeating an enemy with a manifestation increases the damage in the next light attack and heavy attack by 50%. That's quite good, but what is it? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Well, it's not quite pink. But okay, I really came here though to look at this. In 1345, the old world would have been saved from the Black Plague if only the cowardly merchants had not fled the city of Kaffa, bringing with them the disease across Italy and then the whole continent, killing millions and despairing the rest. Epidemics are the invisible enemy able to defeat the strongest armies, for they instill fear before any blood may be spilled, and they have struck before. Eh. Any blood may be spilled, and they have struck and already condemned families to death way before the first grave may be dug. There we go. When facing disease, the wise men know there are no alternative but to isolate and lock down the sick until no more cases are reported among the healthy population. This may sound cruel, and it is, and it is to some extent, but I have lost my parents and my six brothers to various diseases. I have witnessed the ravages of uncontrolled epidemics. It is a question of survival and sacrifice of the few for the benefit of the rest. Discipline is the key, and in that matter, officers are the best trained, them who already know the burden of command. Who authored this? Oh, excerpt from Pennington stuff. Okay, well that tracks. Hang on, I'm seeing... I'm seeing ghost matter. Why am I seeing ghost matter? That's weird, it didn't go to anything. Right, I'm getting distracted. I'm supposed to go to the mines. Oh, maybe this is what I was saying. Hey, yo! Follow the trail. What a beautiful view. Every morning I wake to a better one. Aww. You try to tell me, lady. I'll warn you. It should definitely work. <laughs> Dorks. Uh, we go up. We go in. There we go. These body parts scream manifest my spectre. Do they? I'm not sure you know how to read body parts particularly well. Maybe I'm being just messed Something's here. Hidden. Oh. Eh? Eh? Maybe here? Oh, 
all the way in. Okay. Blocked. I hope there's another way in. Can't you kaboom? I assumed we were gonna kaboom. There was supposed to be a ghost shattering kaboom. Uh alright. Where else? Whoop, oh, hang on. The horn of combat! They never learn, do they? Not gonna ask for help? You shot me. Don't do that. Oh, I like this armor. Oh, oh no. It's so pretty. It doesn't matter what it does anymore. It's just look at it. Oh, with the glowing and the... Yeah... Yeah. He shot you in the back. Yeah, it's not quite pink, but we are going to wear it for the rest of the game now. Got kind of like a like a cherryish color. The glowy. It has a little bit of fur on it. Yeah, yeah. This is it. This is the one. Ooh. Until unless they get us in a somehow even pinker armor. Is this just a nothing burger in the middle? Yeah, sure was. Alright. Oh, I see. Got it. Now we explode. Perfect. Impressive. So then what? Ah. This game doesn't do a lot of dead ends, so whenever there's a another spot to go that isn't the like Banish yourself. I see you found your way. Sebastian, what are you doing here? Oop, sorry. Hi bud. Uh, whenever there's a way to go that isn't the like critical path, I'm always like, well there must be something here. There we go. Hi bud. Difficult. Though it be to walk these dark tunnels, I'll guide you as best I can. You sure you want we to go in the dark now? Then I have to. I must. For Helen. It was great that we found this right before going into the mines. Look at this. This is perfect. We're in nightlight. Pennington did a great and terrible thing. Your death must feel like an outrage. I am a soldier. I took the shilling. Death is part of the bargain. One dies, so many may live. I served the sick and the dying. When my turn came, I was ready. But now, in the fort, there is no noble sacrifice. One dies, so all may also die. Hmm. Tell us a little more about Helen. Now, I'm not sure what more I could tell you. My wife is a strong woman. What you see is what you get. Every day I feel blessed to have a partner and best friend by my side. I had never expected her. When she came into my life, I came home to myself. <laughs> Made me want to be a better man. Oh, I know the feeling. She gave me a handkerchief. I died clutching it. That's got to be our ghost time. Of our love. She was and is ever in my thoughts. She is my world. Now until the end. What shall we find down there? The rage of the Forsaken. They trusted him. He betrayed them. He abandoned them. I doubt they can be placated. And they're not pissed at you. That's... that's important. We must press on. Stay close. All right. Uh, well. Are you ready? Sorry, I'm still getting over this. Our glow-in-the-dark armor. I don't think I found this my first playthrough. It's so pretty. 
I love it. Okay. Uh, we're actually going, before we take the lift, we're actually going to go ahead and go to our break because this is a very good time to do that. Um, but hey, we got to the mine and that was, that was my main agenda item. So success. <laughs> uh, it's, listen, I was genuinely worried that I would get so distracted by side stuff that we wouldn't even get to the mine by the end of the stream. And that didn't happen. And I'm proud of me. So I'm going to go celebrate by taking a short break. So stand up, stretch, get a drink, do whatever you need to do to take care of you. And I'll be back here in just a few minutes as we descend into the pit. See y'all then. You were getting distracted by Tumblr right in the middle of the stream break. Couldn't be me. Anyway, we're back. It's been the best and the worst thing, uh, Dungeon Meshi getting an anime. Because um, I had read ahead on the manga and gotten kind of um, obsessed with it. And now uh, a lot of people are getting caught up to the same like major scenes don't worry i'm not going to talk about any spoilers on stream but getting caught up to the same major scenes through the the anime and so i'm just sitting here kind of vibrating and doing my best obviously not to, to spoil people who were just watching through the anime and also not spoiling people who have done neither but i'm just sitting there going ah, i can't wait uh I'm just I'm very excited about it all the time let's go down our let's go down a lift i mostly drink from jars not tumblers that's valid Oh good, we have, we have the double ghost elevator. Love it. It's like a fox, a hen, and a bag of grain. Except it's two ghosts and one red. 
We saw you from across the bar and we really dig your vibe. Not far now, till you find what you need. I hope. Pity. I was enjoying this wee promenade. It's gonna stop halfway down, you'll have a fight. Oh no! This is too small of an elevator for an elevator fight! What game was it? Solstice, where like every elevator there was multiple elevator fights. Cracked me up. First game I remember that just could not resist an elevator fight was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game. Every time you get on an elevator in that game, it's like elevator fight, elevator. Oh. No, come on. No, he was joking. Everything all right? Let's just get this all over. Sebastian's disappointed because there was no elevator fight. That's all. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I love doing that. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Magnetite. Am I remembering correctly? Is Magnetite just literally the name of a Pokemon? Because it's Magnetite and Magneton. Pennington ordered the barrel. Magnemite, thank you. I was close. I barely had time to bid Helen farewell. That must have been hard. A soldier is called to sacrifice. You're way over there, okay. Why are you so quiet? Because of distance and sound travels, Andy. Go. There we go. Smash. Hello. Who? The New Eden Curse, the loss of the sense of time? I'm afraid to read my previous pages and realize I've only written down incoherent babbling for months. I've tried to keep track of time by carefully noting each each say in a separate notebook. That's probably just a typo. But some days it is like I am not sure anymore that I marked the previous day, as if too much time had passed since I added a tick on the paper. Too often in the last weeks, I have found myself by the shore or the cliff or the mill without remembering how or when I went there. And when I ask around what day we are, it is like nobody can give me the good answer, and at least the same answer. This is the curse, all right. Always more insidiously poisoning our minds. I think this is my last attempt to remember what happened to us, to remember to what happened to us all. Working is the only thing that matters and help me go through each day. I must not forget to work. No, these are consistent. These are one letter off. Tomorrow I shall throw these pages away. I promised to do so long ago. I must not forget to go to the hill where the wind is the strongest. Lucy B. Huh. Huh. You. Oh, all right. Well, listen. I promise I'm here to help. It probably doesn't feel like it because of all the violence. The spirits of these soldiers were angry. Soldiers weren't spared. Those not taken by sickness or thirst died of despair. Which one took you? Let's not. I'm sorry. As am I. Soon Pennington shall be too. Did vengeance bring you back and not love? Is that the dark angle we're going to find in here? Ooh, campfire.
There you are. These tunnels go surprisingly deep. In its heyday, it was quite the operation. Jesus. It goes all the way down. It goes all the way down. Yeah, can we chat? No, okay. I guess you're you're talking plenty, so that's We'll get info if we just keep going. Ew. Car upon car rose to the surface. Piled high with ore. Or what? Sorry, I have to do it once. What's over here? More tunnels blocked off. More death in the dark. Don't love that. Death in the dark, drums in the deep. Just just seems like bad vibes. Ooh, ooh, hang on. Resonance. I told Gray the tunnels were hellish hot. But Wilson says he can't do much about it. Keep feeding the furnace, says he, if you want your meager pay. <laughs> that sounds nasty. You all right? Parallels. Can we bust through this? Not from this side. Okay. Fancy working here with the furnaces running. The work men did here was meant to make me rich. Ooh, minecart. All right. Oop. Oop. Yep. Out we go. Everybody loves a box puzzle. Hang on. No. Yep. No, that's not it. Okay. So why did we get up here? Why for this thing? No, probably not for this thing. N E M New Eden Mining, I'm assuming? Purple thing. Purple thing. Letter from a miner. Sweetheart, I write to you direct because your mother told me you were sad to hear my most recent news. All is well. We are locked in for our safety that the disease may no longer spread. We have nurses to tend us, and the men of the train band bring us food and water and other supplies. Soon this will all be over, and I shall come home. We shall go fishing on the river and play with Dudley. I shall teach you to shoot. That shall be our little secret. Help your mother in the house and at the market. Look after your brother, say your prayers, and stay strong. I shall see you soon. Your father who loves you very much. Oof. Well. Off we go, then. So it started out okay. They were actually getting, like, supplies. Oh, looking at this, is giving me the wellies. Does it cost? They had medical care. What happened? Oh. Depending to decide it was too much. Okay, so that wisp is just leading us to the chest. Got it. Okay. Hi, Sebastian. Where are we going? Alright. So this is not the place to be. Oop, is this? No. Okay. Yes. Should we keep... Oh, this is a turnstile. Okay. How do we turn the turnstile? Better question. Can we call the thing? No. But we can get this. Yoink. Get this. Right, those are all way on down. Need to shoot to break free. Hmm. 
Some people just want to be the hard man making hard decisions, even when easy, even when easy decisions will work fine. Yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. I was just on the wrong lever. Duh. Stuck. Damn it. There's a strong spectral presence down there. A lot of us died down here. Woo! You be? Um. Um. What the hell was that? Sebastian? Got any, uh... Got any commentary for me? I mean, I know that's a treasure chest, but like... Uh-oh. Uh-oh? Whoop! They never learn, do they? On your toes, Scotsman. Uh, they're behind me. I love that. Let's go ahead and just... Go ahead and just do one of these. Watch your step. Can just take you out of the equation. Oh, And back. All right. Nice of you to join us, Sebastian. Care to explain what the hell we just heard? Yeah. I can't. What now? Uh, I say we push past the blockade. Follow me, please. Um. So last time that we fought a big scourge, it was. All the people that um, had been betrayed by Thickskin, and it was like one half of a caravan, and that formed the beast. If this is a whole, ooh, rats. What's this? If this is a whole quarantined mine, the halfway mark. It's gonna be a big beast. Miners and nurses, and possibly like people delivering food. <laughs> rats, 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 rats. Or was he a doctor? I mean, we know he was a lieutenant, but like he could also have been a like a field medic, I guess. Powder tally. Three. All right. Oh, man. Kaboom! Enough powder to kill us all. Enough powder to kill you, you mean? Aye. Right. Enough powder to kill me, too. I'm the only one corporeal here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, as long as we're here. Whee! Up we go. Up we go. Please don't be an even cooler shirt. That's all I ask. Anything else would be fine. I guess we could sell a shirt. You are gone, Comanji. It is? Cool, thank you. That's all I want. Thank you for not being a shirt. Back to business. Wee! I love that. Right. Follow the rats. Follow the rats. Are they expecting to face a regiment? We knew the dying would try to fight. We had to keep them from infecting the rest. Charming. Uh, 
for wanting to make it home alive. Yeah, but you can blame people for shooting them. Nothing must leave the mines. Okay, let's just let's just have a peek in here. What the hell is all this then? We play games as we wait to die. Kind of a lot to, to unpack here, point. Sebastian. You would be all right. Let's grab this first. Go. Have a look. See, the Ooh, black belly. All right. Whoa. Bam, and them. None must approach the entryway on pain of severe reprimand. Oh, by severe reprimand. Yours? I regret the necessity. Oh, bud. Why are they pissed at you? Are they pissed at you? Is it not Pennington that they're mad at? I'm just gonna, just gonna, just gonna pop in here for a second. What do we need to upgrade this? Elite gems. Right, the other thing that we got is that a wristband? What was that? No, was it a ring? Was it ring? It's always a ring. Banishing consumes 150 spirit points to deal 100% increased damage. Oh, yes. Quite good. But it also eats spirit points, which we don't have a spirit point engine yet. But that'll be good to have. Now, let's see. We got a rifle. Where are you at? Rifle body shot damage is doubled. Versus each weak spot hit with the rifle increases damage only for 40%, and it's cumulative. Or we could just admit that we're not going to hit. No, I feel, I feel like I've been hitting weak spots reliably enough that we don't need to just abandon it. Although, this also boosts our strength passively, which boosts our melee damage, which is nice. Get any of the rifle, shot, or stock grants 15 banish points. That's also nice, and it grants willpower, which is uh, punch damage. I think. I think willpower is punch. Yeah, willpower is punch damage. Wisdom is... I think that's right. Hmm. Hmm. Tempting. I do like having even more banish point engine. Yeah, let's do this. Because this, this involves repeatedly using the rifle, which we've been using the rifle and then immediately switching to something else. This makes it part of our banish point engine, so we'll we'll do that. All right. This campfire is a bad idea for a different reason. There's only so much oxygen down here. Yeah, and it's also in an area with like a low ceiling. There, are, there's literally a better spot for it. Right here. Would have been perfect. Like there's a chi there's a natural chimney. This isn't over yet. I haven't seen one of them drop in like that. It's neat. Three point landing. Oh, please, please target the one over here. Thank you. Feet on the ground. Whoop. Wait for it. Too late, it's fine. <laughs> Oops. There. Yum. Hello? That's a big turd. It's just a cave in? This miner was shot. Was there a mutiny? There was. Yeah. We failed. Why did you not mention this before? Which we? I felt apologies. I 
suppose the memory was just too painful. If the main complaint about this game is bad campfire placement, it's still a good game. That's fair. We've had far worse from games than hmm, questionable campfire placement. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly, I think it's funny. I genuinely think it's a funny quirk to be like just habitually. Those are big chains. Habitually bad campfire placement. Specter, that's for sure. Perhaps in our pain, screaming to be free, we may change. Okay, so those those weren't here before. I see a weak link. So Oh, well yeah, that'll do it. Whatever's down here, they're not like that. Okay. Well, that's not ideal. I mean, we're breaking the chains. That's that's happening. No possession for you. Think you could take on a ghost? Whoop! Hey, nice move. They never. Kind of hoping the lantern was the weep. That would have been cool. Hello? Nope, not that one. This one. Here. There we go. A little awkward, but we got there. Red, look at this. Gavin? What's that mark mean? I've seen it in books. Necromancy. Corpse raising, spirit control, that kind of thing. Have you heard of a ghost able to raise the dead and control them? I thought they were myths. Perhaps I was wrong. But we do our work. Come on, let's break these chains. Goception? Okay, I'm glad that they stay glowing after we switch back. That's that's good. Hello, Chad. Would you like to be on stream? Probably this is gonna go here, I would bet. What's another one we do? Hang on. Pop in here. Chat with the page. Those who attack militia or nurses will be isolated and starved. Wow. Uh hey Sebastian, was this your order or Pennington's? I feel like that's important to know. gonna go maybe who's to say actually how do we turn this thing doesn't make any sense to turn it there oh i see i see i see i see okay you go here and then yep yeah. oh thank goodness okay we only have to turn it once it's so kind thank you video game Here, up here, Make up here, and here. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's this. Okay. okay. This is. Unexpected. Still no second chain, huh? Right. But that moved. Whatever that was. Okay. Oh, it moved this. No. Maybe? I can't tell. Alright, let's head on down there and take a look. 
What did this do? Remove this, maybe? Ah, ha, ha. It did move this. Cool. Alright. Show me the next chain. Nope. Come on! To make you angry. Sneak through here. Oh, I see. I see orange. Clear this. Okay, so there's one. <laughs> cool. We know where it is. How do we get to it? <laughs> uh, hmm. Right. Here. Oh, we literally just walked to it. All right, well. Perfect. Love it. Good stuff. Pop over. Ooh, there's a glowy. Love a glow. No. This one. They told us to stay put for a few days, and we listened. When days turned to weeks, we made do. Now food's running low. And they've bolted the doors. We must act now, before it's too late. <laughs> the dying must die alone. Brutal. We lost some galleries to flooding. Perhaps we got the sickness from the water. I mean, yeah. Sneak back in here. What we got here? Any militia or nurse who takes sick must join the quarantine. Cascade failure situation. Uh, mm. This is titled Amputation Story, so I'm going to add gore warning before I read this next bit. Ripped page, June 22nd. Last night I had to amputate a miner's arm. He was shot during the attack on the checkpoint. His life was not in danger, but he was losing too much blood, and Sarah and I could not stop the bleeding. Neither of us was trained in amputation, but I was the older one, so I did the deed. The sound of the saw on the poor man's bone as he screamed like a devil shall ever echo through my soul, though I live till I am 90. There was so much blood. Sarah turned and vomited on the floor, but I couldn't stop. I was already halfway through the bone and kept sawing till I was through. I thought that would save him, but he took sick. He died. His name was Gerard. Or Gerald. Jared, perhaps. No matter now. I have not seen Sarah since. My belly aches with the strain, I hope, and nothing worse. Awful. Red, come look. Is it is it just the saw? Because we saw this. Was there something else? Oh, up here. Oh, I'm glad you called that out. I would have walked away. Oh. I was about to say this seemed like a long way to go for like. Not much. Whoa. Hello. I'm so sorry. But also Stay good. Alright. Alright. Three and a four. Let's see if we can get. Don't fret. We're coming for you. This is the last one here. I don't want ready to face it. Turn back. Why? I, I don't know. I thought maybe it should be. See you, whatever is down there. Sebastian? You alright there, bud? Alright, first I'm gonna. Right, let's leave this here. Let's, let's scout ahead. What am I looking at? 
Any who try to leave will be shot dead. Yeah, I kind of got that impression. Oh, that's the elevator. Oh, 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 got it. Okay, so we bring this back to here. We turn this. Move this one here. Chug it, 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 chug Up. Up. Okay. Through here. Got it. I like the, the slight color shift every time we move from red to Antea because sometimes it actually makes it easier just to see objects in the environment. Because things that don't stand out in one color palette sometimes stand out better in the other. Aha! Aha! I see, I see, I see. Okay, now we can get up without needing... The minecart, which means we can bring this back to the turnstile. One turntable, and I'm oh, it's not on the thing. Could you please? There. One turntable and a microphone. Straight ahead. Minecart elevator. There. Now we take our new rope. Up we go. Go around. Ahem. We go around. Bring the minecart up. Perfect. Yes? Yes. Love it when a plan comes together. There we go. Okay. Ahem. What? A little more. I just don't want to be going ass first into whatever lies ahead of us, you know? Not that kind of night. Hang on. That was correct. Head. Hmm. Seems like that ought to, like, come down. Okay, so let's... We can hop down. And then this is here. Is this where the things were? Oh, here it is. Hooray! <laughs> Sometimes it's just that simple. There we go across. Chugga 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 choo choo. Voices from the dead ripple here. Hey, I'm gonna check it out. Lay down your weapon, prospector, and stand away. I'll not say it twice. Hear me! I'm not your fool! Obey the order! Put the pickaxe down! Your uniform won't protect your son! Your officer will bury us all! He'll bury us all! He'll bury us all. He meaning Pennington, right? Who else? Yeah, who else indeed, Sebastian? He'll bury us all. Oh no, oh no, okay. Um, we okay? Okay, we're okay. Well, so no going back there then. Uh, oh. Five for fighting. Oh dear. 
Where are they? Behind me. No, no. I have another no, no. sight. I said no. Just slightly too little. No possessions today. Sebastian, what is this place? It's no. It's. It's only. The people were angry. And for good reason. Rebel camp. Yeah. Day will come. That's, uh, that's what it says. Soldier's Journal. For the good of the wider colony, Priest has locked us in. We spent the afternoon organizing the rations based on greatest need. Who has the greatest chances of living? Who has the greatest chances of living? We count 36 patients, 7 soldiers, 3 nurses. Pretty sure I can wave my advancement goodbye if I don't involve myself, so here I am. I already missed the sun. Six days later. Priest kept the dying away from the rest and forbade us to check on them. We could hear them deep in the mines. They are quiet now. They've been quiet some time. It's hard to fight the sullens, but God is with us, and we have food enough to last us a little longer yet. We shall come through this, those of us who are not sick. Another week goes by. Most of the week, I guard the entryway. There was a fight. A sick miner broke Nurse Jolly's teeth. Two militiamen killed him dead on the spot. Tempers fray. Those miners still fit to work have, drowned, have downed their tools. The furnaces are cold, but the men boil over. They steal, and we punish them. Priest looks out for us, carving, yes, carving us out the lion's share of the rations, the better for us to do our work. Dying, hungry men do desperate things. They surely come for us. Another week. Come they did. Bloodbath. Nine men sent to isolation. Jolly started coughing, so Priest had her dragged away too. We no longer leave the barricade at the entryway. Priest spends countless hours hunched over his reports, writing and rewriting. I don't feel good. My skin feels hot. My lungs burn. My blood feels leaden. I pray it is the dust and the darkness. I wish to see the sun once more before I die. Hey, bud. I see you at parade rest there. Um. So. Got some, um. Uh, got some, got some things to answer for. Got, got some stuff, got some stuff that, that, uh, they might be unhappy with you for. And we have just broken their chains. So, we're gonna go down there and talk to the angry thing. Next time. That's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do next time. Uh, so this is another fine mess. But, hey, this time it's not our mess, and I'm counting that a win. Um, no, but really, though, this is this is actually horrible. Um, but we'll find out what's at the bottom of it, literally, uh, Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Hello, Jasmine. Well, you can't walk right in front of the screen and not expect to get scooped up. That's the law. Yes, it is. I'm sorry. It's cat law. Okay. Well, we can, we can, we can vote to amend cat law later. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out. Uh, I hope you have a lovely week. Be sure to check out our full schedule at schedule.truck.community. Yeah, well, I'm getting to that. To uh, see what everyone's up to all week long, our whole stream team, uh, what they're streaming on what days, at what times, with links to everyone's channels, uh, to, to check out everything all at one convenient site. Uh, and uh, hey, squish that cat. Uh, has, the, uh, has the belly... We're, we're getting there. We're getting it's it's a uh, it's a slow process, but it's uh the the, the belly for it's growing back. It's getting there. It's, uh, well, it's a bit better than it was. Um, so in a little bit here, uh, over at twitchtv slash Um I believe it's going to be September. Joy, regardless, is going to be playing some Guilty Gear, uh, Guilty Gear Strive, taking a break from Super Mario Wonder tonight. Uh, so we'll toss a raid uh, their way here in just a moment. Jasmine, you have anything else you wanted to add? You've been so talkative the last few. Yeah. No, even Sebastian's uh, fucked off. So <laughs> thank you guys so much. I uh, hope you have a lovely night, and I will see you next time. Good night, everybody. Good night, Jasmine.